sometimes windy and the rain is threatened, but there's a huge spirit, I think, here this afternoon of resistance to people telling us what is best for us in our city. The thing about democracy is that we don't all have to agree with one another. The coalition that put this protest rally together are people who in many other contexts might disagree with one another. That's good. That's the sort of city we want. We want a city which is disputatious because that's what this city has always been. Yeah. We want to dispute, we want to argue, and we've been doing that through the press really successfully over the last two years. But we want that disputation to occur among ourselves and we want the context for that to be what determines what happens in our city. And I want to remember those disputing people of the late 19th century. New Zealand suffragists, led by women, Kate Shepherd, one of the key political figures in our city, who didn't always agree with all other women and didn't always agree with all the political factions in this city, but led a group of women with the support of many men to argue for women's opportunities to exercise a vote in national elections in this country. That was a huge achievement in 1893 when women won that vote. We need to remember it, but we also need to remember, of course, that you have to go on fighting for the democratic rights that are associated with having a vote. The NCW came together as the National Council of Women in Christchurch it came together to look at how they were going to further the agendas that were associated with women's fight for the vote. At one stage they went into recession because they thought they had the vote. They didn't have to do much more. But then they came together because they realized that the things that they were fighting for when they fought for suffrage were things that they would have to go on fighting for. The welfare of families, the welfare of children, the provision of social services, the response to issues of poverty and inequality in the city and in this country. At this point in time, in the history of Christchurch, we have to pick up on those agendas as well. And we do it against a background where we know now we can no longer take for granted the right to exercise a vote in regional elections for GCAT. We have to actually move forward and struggle for what we took for granted. But we're better placed to do that than almost any city in the world. And that's because the people in the city showed remarkable resilience and attention, not just to themselves and their families and their neighborhoods, but attention and responsibility for large numbers of other people in the city. This city has demonstrated a sense of collectivity and responsibility that goes way beyond what anyone might have expected of us. We've gone beyond what school did you come from in this city. We've gone beyond that. We're the city of the Rangiora Earthquake Express. We're the city of the Student Volunteer Army. We're the city of the Youth Alive program in New Brighton. You know, we're the city of Cancer. We are the city where people have come together when they needed to in a crisis. So it is hugely ironic that in that context, we are not able to make decisions about water, about air, about land, about our schools, and about the rebuilding of our city. And we will have to fight for it. over a hundred women in the city over the last year. Women from different walks of life. Women who were focused on their families and their neighborhoods. Women who were active in their churches. Women who were in some of the major organizations that responded to the earthquake. Women in professional positions within the civil defense. Women in heritage. Um, women who were dog handlers going around the city trying to find people after the collapse of buildings. Those stories are going to be available from Monday onwards on a website set up by University of Canterbury called UC Seismic. And if you go on to UC Seismic Quake Studies on Monday, 
you will be able to read the stories of over 100 women about their earthquake experiences, but also about what they want for the future of the city and the rebuild. And over and over again, their focus is on collective issues. Their focus is on concern for others. And their focus is on creating a green, low-rise city that works for all its citizens.